Okay, before I start off the video as normal, uh, one of the hardcore Iron Man that is actually PVM oriented just died as I was about to render the video. So I just want to give tribute to Hardcore Alfie because he is probably one of the best hardcore Iron Man out there that was out there because he already had uh, DK's rings. He was about to go ahead and uh, do some Zora. So that is freaking terrible, man. I just watched uh, his reaction on stream when he died and like, Man, that's probably gonna be me one day. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to episode 27 of the Hardcore Iron Man series. So I have a few things I want to talk about for raids, so make sure you stick around if you want to know more about like the future schedule and whatnot for like the week or the month. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's awesome episode. There we go. Nice, man. It took forever to get that 75 Slayer, but that is amazing to get... Now I can kill gargoyles, man. That task is super crazy money. Like, literally poops out rune items for me to alk nonstop. So I am excited to get this as a task. Like, hopefully I don't have to, like, go through two levels to get gargoyles. So I actually have enough slayer points now to buy something else. So I think I'm going to purchase the superior monsters. Now this will make my slayer task a bit more interesting. There we go. We just hit 85 strength. God damn, it's getting pretty high up there, man. Okay, five more to go, and then I hit my first ever level 90 skill. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be strength. Alright, slayed my first ever superior monster, and uh, got ourselves the Dark Totem top. The superior monsters really give a lot of uh, Slayer experience, so I guess uh, they would definitely help and contribute to faster Slayer gains. Well, well, well! This clue has arrived once again at the fifth step, requiring rune boots. And actually, I can get it this time because I'm 75 slayer now. I can boost to kill some necrals for it. So it's time to get myself some rune boots. Well, that was easy. I didn't really get to uh, kill too much, you know, to show off some of the nice loots. Already got the rune boots, so we're good to go for this hard clue. And that's Scorpion Catcher done. I needed a Mystic Fire Staff, so I'm gonna go ahead and make myself one real quick. All right, got it. Let's go finish this hard clue. Hopefully this hard clue is uh, worth it. Here we go. Oh, got the next page four. Here we go, we just got 81 range, guys. And we got 228K to the next one. So I got a dust double task and I want to try something for fun. So I'm going to be ice bursting the dust doubles. And of course the experience for Slayer and magic and all that is probably going to be really crazy. So I guess I'll show you guys after I finish the task. But like the main thing I want to figure out is like how much runes am I going to use for this task. So currently I got 16k chaos, 5000 deaths and 4000 waters. So by the end of this task I'll be able to figure out exactly how much runes that I lost. Alright guys, so I just finished my task with the Ice Burst method and holy hell that was so fast. So for magic experience I ended up getting around 120k magic experience an hour and for Slayer 50k Slayer experience an hour. So that's really really crazy. And also in terms of runes, I used 460 death runes which isn't too bad. I think I would definitely continue uh, doing this but Chaos runes only used around 300 because I actually picked up quite a bit from the task and water runes only about 1000 so yeah this is really worthwhile guys I would totally continue to do dust levels with this method just because it's so fast and fun and doesn't cost too much runes so I decided to ban black demons permanently because these guys are just too slow and the rewards suck so in terms of slayer grind it's really slowing me down so I decided to block it and basically I have a new uh, way in which I want to approach Slayer. It's going to be quite different from how I got to 87 on my previous Iron Man. So basically after Ice Bursting Dust Devils, I realized that all the tasks that are available to Ice Burst, if I do it that way, I'll be able to raise my Slayer level so much quicker than I ever did on my original Iron Man. And of course, Ice Burst costs quite a bit of money. I need to, you know, buy some Death Runes and it's going to cost me money. But luckily, all the newly buffed Slayer monsters like the Gargoyles, Karas, 
dust devils and stuff they give a lot of money and i'll be getting these tasks quite a bit so i can actually ice burst as much as i can which is great so i ended up getting the uh clue where i have to talk to the fairy queen but since i've already started fairy tale part two i actually have to finish it in order to continue the quest but luckily i can and that's fairy tale part two complete as well and what's really nice is i am now over 200 quest points so i have another uh block space that i can use if i want to block another task so yeah i'll definitely make sure to use that coming up soon and 1500 total for this quest so, and 62 hour block. god dang so much gains all at once man now i'm 1500 total i can use another world so that's really nice as well and there it is 76 slayer guys 10 more slayer levels to go and i got a really uh cool way to do hellhounds like really chill without you know having to worry about food and stuff so basically i just pray against these hellhounds and when i'm out of prayer i just go to the monastery with my cloak and i just use my current teleport to get straight back to the hellhounds it just sends you about like a few seconds away from the hellhounds so free prayer and just chill at the hellhounds is that easy but doodle oh my god that is amazing ancient page two ancient blessing as well man that is really thematic as hell that's so nice dude two unique items the pages are coming in nicely though for sure oh snap here we go we got 86 strength right after the 76 slayer as well 374k to 87 so I got a hundred Slayer points and in order to make my ice bursting ventures through Slayer a bit uh, more efficient I'm gonna make my dust devil task a bit bigger. I still have a lot of more things to buy But yeah, we'll start off with this for now and uh, buy some more once I get enough points Wow, dude, that's crazy another mystic robe top You know, I would actually trade this for like a broad axe man. That'd be dope if I can get that I haven't even got a sword yet. I would like to melee these guys, you know, to kill them a little bit quicker. Hey, one Slayer level later, I finally got my first ever Gargoyle task. Now that's going to be a nice showcase. And that is the last kill of this Gargoyle task. Jesus Christ, guys. Look at the amount of cash just from this task. 412k GP. And uh, let's check out the total loot as well. We got 675k, dude. That's pretty damn impressive basically the same as like Koras at this point in terms of like overall money but certainly a bigger GP stack so like this task is a bit annoying though because I cannot auto kill them but once I get the auto killing ability this task will just be as good as the Koras task another hard clue completed today what is it that we get oh yes yes now that is something I've been looking for. Not Bandle specifically, but a Coif. The Coif is really as good as it gets for a very long time, so I am very pleased with the results of these hard clues lately. They have been very worthwhile doing. Although the main reason I do the hard clues is just you know, for fun and take a break from the Slayer grind, but the rewards are certainly worth it as well. Oh my god. This is gonna be so freaking fun, guys. And Anakras Lament is now done, so now I have access to the Camulet that's not fully charged yet. It's time to upgrade the Camulet to have infinite charges with 1 million coins. It's gonna be worth it guys. I know 1 mil is a lot, but trust me. So with the unlimited charge Camulet, I can teleport myself to the temple, which is right next to the pyramid. So whenever I need to switch spellbooks to Ice Burst, it's gonna be very convenient. So recently I started using video guides by this person named Slayer Music so I've been hearing a lot about him so I was a bit skeptical but you know I tried it out and wow it is so intuitive and fast guys much better than traditional reading and I'm so used to reading quest guides so I think Slayer Music has a quest guide for every single quest for old school on his YouTube channel so I honestly think you guys should check him out if you haven't already I'll put the link to his channel on the description and also at the end of the video as well okay wow actually I finished the Slayer task already so I'm still getting 50k so yes the test is pretty solid so I got some Slayer points now and I'm gonna go ahead and unlock Gargo Smasher and there are two other things that I want to get ASAP and that is the ability to get Jad as a task because that's one of the best Slayer experience tasks in the game. And also I want to extend Ankus because they're really great for ice bursting as well. So really fast experience for Slayer. 
And the reason why this is really important right now to get is because if I do gargoyle task and I disconnect, without this auto smashing ability, the gargoyle that I'm fighting will never die. So if I'm DC'd and the gargoyle never dies, then there's a good chance that I might get KO'd to death by the gargoyle. So yeah, this is really important. First hard clue of the day. Oh, Saradum in page 4. Nice. Check this out. I am pretty damn close to finishing the uh, Saradum in book. And that is another Slayer level at freaking Hellhounds. Man, what a coincidence. Three more until I can hit uh, another interesting Slayer task, not else, but man, we got a while. But one more level from now, I can uh, start boosting for Dragon Boots, which is going to be pretty good. And that is another Superior Monster done. 2.7k Slayer experience from that one. Not bad, not bad. Oh my goodness guys, I was just editing episode 27, I was about to wrap it up and you know, just render it as is, but yo, I just got myself the freaking Leaf Blade Axe. I cannot wait to use the axe against these guys because range is nice and all, but it's a little bit slow. I want to do these tasks a bit faster, so that's awesome. Oh my goodness, the gains just won't stop. I just got 82 range as well. This episode is so freaking packed with gains. So guys, tomorrow raids will finally be out. And hopefully uh, nothing goes wrong with that update. <laughs> Crossing fingers here. I've been talking about it quite a bit. And yeah, you know I am excited as hell to uh, try out raids. And of course the normal Iron Man will be making that special return. So I really hope the next few episodes for the uh, normal Iron Man returning will be pretty eventful and exciting to watch. I'm really hoping that if I spend enough time at raids, hopefully within the next few days I might get something really cool. So raids will give a lot of interesting rewards. They're going to be rare of course. Uh, some new best in slot items, uh, primarily weapons though, there's only a few armors like the bulwark and the mage armor which is like basically the equivalent to bandos and armadillo for uh, mage, but mainly stuff like the twisted bow and the dragon crossbow and a few other things is uh, the biggest stuff to look out for. So just in case if you don't know the current schedule now that race is coming out, the hardcore Iron Man will definitely be taking a small break. I would assume at least one week because I want to make sure you know I get the most out of raids, and I doubt raids will last me any more than like you know two weeks, like a month, just because it's just an update. It's not like a game mode where I make like a new account or something. I'm just playing on my normal Iron Man and just trying to see uh, what I can get out of it. But just to make it very clear, the hardcore Iron Man will be returning very soon. I am looking forward to you know finishing the hardcore challenge, see how far I can get into PVM before I die. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you are new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with future videos, feel free to subscribe. And if you enjoyed today's episode, which I hope you did since you watched all the way to the end, feel free to give the video a like as well. But I hope to see you guys soon with some raids content coming out, uh, hopefully within a few days or maybe even tomorrow if there's a lot of stuff happening. Take care guys.